this video, I'm going to show you how to extract all comments and comment responses from a playlist. So this is the playlist ID here. There's two videos in this playlist. So I've got a 20 comment one and I've got a 62 comment one. So I can go into my Jupyter notebook here. I can run this. I have the playlist ID in here. I just put in my YouTube API in here and this pulls out the CSV file of all the comments from those videos. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in a second, but just to prove out this method, here is the output from this file, and I can go down and see how many comments are in it. And we can see that there's 82 altogether from exactly two videos. So I have this code out in GitHub. I suggest just download the code from my GitHub and then put in your API key and playlist. So we're starting out on Google Cloud to get your API key. Go into APIs, go to library and find the YouTube version three API. So that's it there. So you just click this, this is all free. You just enable this API and then you can create a credential from the API. So just click create credential and then you wanna go with public data, press next, press done, and then you get an API key, which you can copy to the clipboard. I'm gonna add in this playlist as well because this has a few more videos on it. So I'm just gonna copy that playlist ID from here, go back to my code and just add that into my playlist IDs. You can have as many playlist IDs as you want. So I'm just doing my imports here, pandas to hold the data, the Google API client, and then some stuff from Colab to get that file out. I've got an API get pass here and playlist ID. So the API get pass is just to paste in your API key, press enter, and then that's stored. The next thing we wanna do is build the YouTube client. This is pretty standard boilerplate, just takes in the API. This function just runs through the playlists we've given it and gets all the video IDs from the playlist. So there's a function there and then it'll run through all the playlist IDs and get the video IDs out. And just to show you what this output looks like, the video IDs that comes out here, you can see all our video IDs in here. So this is our main function. So there's a function to get replies from comments and there's a function to get comments. And we're taking timestamp username, video video ID, comment and date out of that. And that's pulling that for both the comments and replies. And then it'll return all comments into a list. And then we will get all those comments out into a data frame. So a little bit complicated, but as I said, this is sitting on my GitHub. The link is down below. Just download it, put in your ID and you're ready to go. So this takes a little bit longer to run than the last one because there's much more video. So this took 28 seconds. And now we can get this data out into a CSV. So I've got an outport CSV here. We're taking that common data frame and then we are going to just set a CSV file equals comments data.csv. And then we're sending that data frame to the file. We're going to trigger a download from Colab and this is what our download looks like. So you can see in here, there is a lot more videos in here and there's a lot more comments in here. So about 895 in total. Listen, I hope you found that video useful. This is extremely powerful. You can get multiple playlists. I'd play around with it. GitHub's down below and I'll see you very soon for another data analytics tutorial.